Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Luna, if you don't know me, welcome. Today I wanted to do like a super chillin' sit down video. I thought I would just do this witchy tag I found. It's like a get to know your witches. Um, this was created by Little Cosmic Crow, so I'll link their channel in the description. There are 15 questions, so let's just get started. So the first question is, does your sun sign slash zodiac sign portray you correctly? If not, do your other planetary signs? So you guys know I'm all into astrology, I love it. Um, my sun sign is Aries. Um, I also have a Taurus rising and a Pisces moon. I have a lot of the same signs. I'm basically just Aquarius, Pisces, and Aries. That's basically my basic buildup. I, I feel a lot of Aries in me. Mostly it's when I get angry. I also have Aries in my Mars and in my Mercury. So um, I have a problem with um, if I'm debating someone, I always sound like I'm yelling, which is fair because I am. Um, so I have a lot of Aries, a lot of fiery energy, but also lots of Pisces. So that's a fun duality. Um, but yeah, I think I, I relate with my big three and my big four, I guess we'll say, um, because that's like all my chart is. So, yep, I feel I feel good with it. I feel connected. Number two, what songs bring you the most magical vibes? So, I don't know why I'm being like this. <laughs> I love, I love Lana Del Rey so much, and I've always loved her. And her song, Season of the Witch, just like, I just feel it in my soul. And like, it feels so like spooky and like sexy. So that's, that's my number one. Also, obviously Stevie Nicks, like I can't, I can't not mention her. Stevie Nicks, um, and there's a song called Brujas by, God, I always forget her name, Princess Nokia. Let me, let me check. I'll correct it if I'm wrong. Pretty sure it's Princess Nokia and called Brujas and it's it's a good one. It's it's a witchy rap and I love rap songs. I love hip hop, I love rap. And so having um, a witchy rap, I heard it and I was like, holy shit, this is perfect. My neighbor is like, I don't know what the f It sounds like he's shoveling snow. But we don't have snow, brother. So what the f are you doing? He's so loud. <sighs> I can't wait till I can live in a secluded forest or on the beach with no one else around besides my husband and my cats. Number three, which one of your deities, guides, ancestors is most sarcastic with you? If this doesn't apply to you, which of your terrible, oh my God, I need to go, I need to go. Which one of your tarot or oracle decks is? So um, I feel that my first tarot deck is screaming right now. That is the one who is most sarcastic. My tarot deck, any of my friends watching who I've done readings for can attest in the comments. My tarot deck, I love it. It does not hold back. And if you ask it a question and you're ignoring a big part of your life, like a big thing that's happening in your life, you just don't want to answer that, it'll give you that answer. It will ignore what you asked it and go to the most, I guess, like important thing in your life, even if you're not like asking it that question, um, which I think is perfect. And yeah, it's just very like, very sarcastic, very blunt, and I love it. I love it so much. Oracle decks, I'm like, hey, I'm feeling a little sad today. Let me go talk to my old friend Oracle over here and they'll be nice to me and they'll tell me that I'm pretty and that everything's gonna be okay. But Tarot's just like, girl, this is all your fault. This is all your fault and here's why. Thank you. <laughs> Biggest witchy mess up or misinterpretation? I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be like this. But I don't know if I messed up. I don't know. Okay, I can think of one. Um, I used to get really confused by the houses in astrology and where they began and what all was included in that because like a couple things said like, well, if it's in that house. I don't even know. It was confusing in the day. I found some stuff on Reddit and I went with it and then it wasn't always true. Yeah, I don't know if I've had any like mess ups. I, I, I'm i very careful. I don't do things that I'm not comfortable or feeling 100% 
certain on. That's why I read so much. You guys know I love my witchy books. I like to just like double down on all the information that I can because I'm constantly scared I'm gonna like summon something. <laughs> like, I know that's like not true, but you know what I mean? Like I'm always scared I'm gonna mess up. So I'm very, very careful before I do anything, which I'm not a careful person. <laughs> Got all that Aries energy. But yeah, with this I am. Number five, would you write a book on your craft slash spirituality? Why? If you've already, what were your challenges in doing so? I've actually thought about this a lot. I've thought about writing um, like an ebook or something soon. If you guys want that, let me know and I'll do it. <laughs> but I've actually thought about like maybe when I'm like 30, late 20s, like I'll be, I'll have a lot more knowledge and like I'd feel really comfortable writing like a physical book and releasing that, um, like an, an all-encompassing type of thing. I that's been a thing I've wanted to do. Like it's on my it's on my wish list, my goal list. Number six, if someone wanted to summon you to their circle, what five items would they need? Um, this is a good one. There was a Facebook meme like this, and I had my friends comment on it, and they did a good job. Five items. I would say cats be the first one. Uh, probably eyeliner or makeup of some sort. Um, I got that Taurus rising, so I'm gonna say like, like some kind of food, probably like pizza. <laughs> God, that sounds so good right now. So, okay, cats, makeup slash eyeliner, pizza, mm, probably like, let's throw in a crystal. Let's do angel aura quartz, that's my favorite crystal. Um, and finally, what they need to summon me. I'm gonna say some Nag Champa incense. <laughs> That's like my favorite incense. And anytime my husband like lights some in the living room, I can smell it and I'm like, here we go. Let me get some of that Nag Champa. It's exciting. <laughs> um, number seven, if you were a ghost, what place would you haunt? Um, I've actually talked about this with my husband of, um, basically I have a thing where I've told him that if I die, I'm gonna come back and haunt him, but like lovingly, if that makes sense. Like I'm going to just like mess with him. Like I'm gonna hide his keys and stuff. Um, just for funsies, just to make sure he's doing good. But I also think like, I wonder if there's like, as a ghost, if there's specific places that you can haunt and you can't haunt. Like maybe if you've had a special connection to a place, I think I would definitely, definitely haunt uh, lovingly. The place where we got married, we got married at his grandma's bed and breakfast and it's super old house, like super pretty Victorian. And um, I just think it needs a ghost up in there. Like I'm pretty sure there are, but I think I'd be very active and a very fun ghost to have. So I told him, I feel like we have like the right, like we got married there. I feel like we have the right to haunt that place. So probably gonna do that. What is the funniest way someone has reacted to finding out you're a witch? <laughs> um, I don't know what that laugh was. I, I don't know, I'm trying to think. Um, I usually don't tell people. <laughs> I just, I don't, I get uncomfortable and I'm like, they're gonna, they're gonna either be super chill or it's gonna get awkward and like, I would just rather not. Um, but also like sometimes I do just to freak people out because I know people completely think of like something that I'm not taught, like they think I'm doing like Satanism or they think I'm like summoning shit. I'm not, but whatever. I, there is one funny experience that my mom did, and I'm sure she's watching this and she's like, oh God, what is she gonna say? But we were like doing like my pendulum board and she was like, no, listen, like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like summon anything here. So and I was like, mom, that's not what this is, but it was, it was admirable and it was very cute because obviously it's not something she's done. So she's new to it. So it was just very cute that she was like a little bit like, hey, Air on the side of caution. Are we summoning things? Is this the devil? And I was like, no. And she's like, cool, do it. Yeah, I think most people just like, they're like, oh, weird. Hmm, doesn't seem very Christian of you. <laughs> or they're just like, dope. And I'm like, thank you. Um, there was another cute thing that happened. Um, my, at our wedding, Zach's brother's girlfriend 
like she's super great at graphic design and she drew us this like super cute picture of us and she gave me a little witch hat and I was like, oh my God, I love that so much. And she was like, no, I like, I looked up like if that's like okay, like if that's PC or if that's like offensive to witches, like to modern witches. And I was like, girl, it is totally fine by me. But it was just so, so just, it was perfect. It was so cute that she like did all that to make sure that like the witch hat was like not appropriation or like rude. And she, it, was, it was so cute. I was like, oh my God, I love it. It was gorgeous. Number nine, do you have any superstitions? Um, I would, I would say I'm a little stitious. Um, I would say I'm a little stitious. Not super, but a little bit. Obviously I disagree with the whole black cats thing. I have black cat and I love him so much. Where is he, mister? Okay, he's taking a nap. I love black cats. I love the number 13. It's like my family's lucky number. Oh, I, I will say the one that I have actively like done something against is like breaking a mirror. Um, so I broke a mirror once, like a year ago, and I was like, what do the witches have to say about this? So I went on my little baby witches Facebook page and I was like, hey, I did this, like, what do I do? Like, is this, is this bad or is that just like a superstition? And they're like, ah, be safe, bury it. So I was like, okay, here's the thing. It was like a floor mirror, so it was huge. So I was like, walked out to the, this is how I walk, if you guys didn't know. Walked out to the living room and I was like, hey babe, we have to go bury something. I don't have a shovel. Do you have one? And he was like, yeah. And so we went to the backyard and we just dug this huge grave for the for the mirror. And I had to find all the, cause I originally threw it away. So I had to go back in the trash and like find all the little mirror shards because I was like, listen, I don't want anything bad <laughs> to happen. So I took it easy, but I still, I still kind of stand by that. I don't want to break any mirrors because I really don't want to have to bury that again. That was just like kind of a hassle. So. Yeah, I'd say that's my superstition. <laughs> Number 10, if you could possess any fantasy magic, what would your power be? What would it? I don't know, let me think. Um, I think it'd be fun to like be invisible. Like I'm thinking Harry Potter guys, I'm going real deep. Thinking invisibility cloak, I think that'd be chilling. Or I think to fly or like being a mermaid, that'd be really cool. Number 11, what is something random on your altar? Let me see. I'm looking at it right now. I feel like all the things I have on my altar are very intentional and Yeah, I mean honestly very intentional. I guess okay. I did have something random I wanted to have pictures that were very meaningful to me and represented important parts of my life and I had one picture from a production I was in as some of you guys know I do theater and um, like an actress and stuff whatever and I had a picture from a production and it was just like me and one of my castmates and we were just like, and we look kind of stupid. It was, it just is a picture that brings me a lot of happiness and um, I don't know, it kind of reminds me what I love about theater. And so I have that there, but then I was like, am I gonna mess this dude up? Is him being on my altar? Like, is he gonna be okay? Didn't ask him permission, but it's fine. We're not doing any magic on him. Just a good picture that represents theater. Number 12, this is a long one. If one of the YouTubers you watched was a genie and they could grant you three wishes within their power, who would it be and what wishes? Whew. Well, I love this. So I'm trying to think which YouTuber I would choose. I've got a number of YouTubers that I really love within their power. I'm wondering if that's like specific to their niche. I think for funsies, I would choose Hassan Piker because <laughs> I love Hassan Piker and I like want to meet him. So I feel like if he was a genie, he'd have to meet me to give me these wishes. So there's one wish that I didn't even ask for. I would wish for um, like, just like knowledge, <laughs> just to not be a dumb bitch all the time. <laughs> no, but for real, I would wish for like, he's very like eloquent in the way he speaks. And so I would like that. <laughs> well, I have a really hard time expressing myself and communicating well. And I feel like he does a really good job at that. So I'd be like, yo, can I have some of that? Communication skills, communication, um, knowledge of political debate topics because um, he's very smart in his politics and 
I have a hard time where like I freeze up when I'm like in a debate and I just like freeze and I don't remember anything that I know. And then thirdly would be to live in LA rent free. Those are all very not good for the world. It's pretty selfish. Yikes. Number 13, if you could instantly become an expert in any part of your craft slash spirituality, what would it be? Um, uh, oh God. Um, instantly an expert? I think astrology is super fun. And I don't know if I wanna say astrology. Can I be super vague? I'm gonna say divination. I think that will encompass a lot of things. So I'm gonna say divination um, because that's already my specialty, but I don't know, like tarot, astrology, all that stuff. Yes. Number 14, when you die, what do you think will happen to your soul slash body? Wait, that's not at all what it says. Wow. When you die, what do you think will happen to you slash your soul? Um, I think about this a lot. <laughs> I have my Scorpio in my eighth house, so. So I believe in reincarnation. So I believe that, uh, well, on one hand, if you are not figuring out your life purpose or you're just like a bad person, then you just like have to reincarnate as a human until you figure it out and kind of like you, you get woke, you know what I mean? Um, and then I think if you're woke, which I don't like that word, but you know what I mean? Um, and do you like work to be a good person and you have good intentions and you know, you do whatever your life purpose is. Then I think you move on to like the next level or like the next dimension. Um, and I think in my opinion, it's probably like a hierarchy of things. Um, and you become like more conscious as you go um, until you're maybe like a God, I don't know. I don't have to know everything. <laughs> and finally, number 15. Where do you see yourself spiritually in the next five years? Um, I think just like more confident in what I'm doing. I think I'm on a really good path, but like I don't feel like there's anywhere, that, like there's nothing that I haven't done that I think is necessary, I guess. Like I feel like just honing in and like being more confident. And yeah, I mean, honestly, I'd love to be able to astral project. Can't do it. Can't do it. I literally can't. Try so hard. And I'll get there. Probably just not ready yet. I think it's a, I think it's a fear thing because um, one time I got really close, started to feel the vibration and everything, and I was like, "Holy shit, we're doing it!" And I got scared. And then I like came back and was like, "Well, you're obviously not ready. You're obviously gonna freak out. You're gonna see some weird shit, and you're gonna freak out." So those are all the questions thank you guys so so much for watching um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this i had fun my past couple of videos have been pretty editing intense and like a little bit just like more time consuming so i'm really thankful to just sit down and like do something fun and we can kind of just talk and have a good time so yeah make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe and yeah i will see you guys in my next video